another week, another all-time high. This week, both Bitcoin and Ethereum hit fresh new highs. Bitcoin ran up as much as $49,200, and Ethereum ran up to about $1,840. Today, we have some fresh new trade setups for the weekend. We're gonna be talking about Bitcoin 50K, Ethereum 2K, and what can be expected over this weekend from the two leaders of the crypto world. You don't wanna miss this. Hey, what's up? Jay here. Welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and trade ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the resources and knowledge to take you to that next level. So if you guys are new here and it's your first time watching our videos, consider subscribing. Make sure if you guys enjoy the video to put those thumbs up and turn on those notification bells so you guys are notified as soon as we post up these videos because we post up a lot of trade setups and you don't wanna miss out on these profits. So today we're gonna be covering a trade recap of what happened over the week, including the results of the trade setups that we gave you guys on Monday. Then of course, we're gonna do a price analysis on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. And finally, if you guys stay to the end, we're gonna reward you guys with some trade setups for this weekend to hopefully make everyone some profits. So speaking of profits, let's talk about those trade setups from Monday's video. So the entry that I gave you guys on Monday for Bitcoin was that $45,000 breakout entry. Guys, if you guys entered this trade, First of all, you would have been able to write it from 45K, right? You could see the clear breakout right here. It went all the way up to 48,300 around that range, right? So even if you would not have sold at the top there and you just kind of wrote it up to, let's say, 4,800, you would have done 67% profits if you use 10X leverage like we did. That wasn't it though. If you guys sold there and then when we tested that 25K range, if you guys bought that dip and rode it back up to 49K, guys, you guys would have done, if you rode it to 49K, you guys would have done 89% profits. If you guys sold again at 48, you would have done another 67% profits, guys. So that was two successful trades from Monday's video, just in Bitcoin, right? The same trade twice. Easy, easy money. Doesn't get easier than that. In Ethereum, we told you guys 1700 was where we would like to enter there. And you can see that we tested that 1700 area. If you guys would have bought that dip, you would have been able to ride it up till about that 1800 range. You would have done about 41% if you use 5X leverage like we did. If you missed that entry and instead entered at 1800, you could have still done about 10 to 11 percent profits if you used 5x leverage like us so congrats guys and by the way new all-time highs while making this video we will get to that in a second all right guys so the first thing we're looking at here of course is bitcoin as you guys can see we've been basically did exactly what i spoke about on monday i said that we would have if we got that breakout above this 45k area then we would probably go to 48k right and where did we go to guys we ran straight up to 40 48k and then what did i say in that video i said that we would probably consolidate down a bit before trying to continue up to that 50k range and what happened guys we consolidated and then continued up and we went up as high as $49,238. So that's already in that zone, in that 50K zone, guys. So that's already some selling pressure. As you guys can see, as we told you guys on Monday, there's, gonna, there's going to be a lot of selling pressure at 50K because it is such a big whole number, right? So people will be looking to take profits at 50k so you can see we formed kind of a little uh support ascending support here where we had that's where we had that bounce and then we had a bounce here again so we've had two touches of that right um we're gonna keep we're just gonna be keeping an eye on that support you know see if we can continue anytime we hit this zone it could be a buy signal uh to continue up 
and this might be what helps us break up and above um, 50k over the weekend. Now another number that's kind of interesting, just this just for some entertainment purposes, right? Um, but another number that's just been popping up around is this 53k number. Now what happens at 53k? Bitcoin becomes a trillion dollar asset at $53,000. So if you go over to coin market cap, you can see that Bitcoin's market cap is currently at around eight hundred and eighty nine billion dollars. So in order to reach that one trillion mark, we need to be probably around fifty three K. So it's just kind of a, a general estimate It's not going to be exact, but that's a, a new number that has been getting brought up more and more. So, so when a number is brought up that much, usually that means that there's going to be a lot of price action probably in that area, right? Uh, 1 trillion is a huge number as well. Just like I said, 50 K is going to be a big number. 1 trillion is just as big, right? So if this support does continue here, um, we should be breaking out and above this over this weekend, right? So that would be pushing basically above that 48.5, 48.5 range. That should cause the breakout to that 49K area. And we're definitely going to see some uh, price action there, right at that 49 area. And of course, the closer we get to, to 50K over here, the more price action that we're probably gonna see. And if we do break above 50K, I imagine we'd run straight to 53K, which is that next number that's going to turn uh, Bitcoin into a $1 trillion market cap. So the two resistances that we're currently watching is that 50K resistance. And then if we get a breakout above 50K, I'm, I'm looking at 53K as that next big number that we should be watching. If there is a drop here in Bitcoin over the weekend, uh, the numbers I'm watching here is probably going to be the same number right here, right? So around that $45,000 area, that's where I'm looking to buy e everything in between 45 to 50. I'm only if I'm taking these day trades on these, I'm only risking 1%, right? But at 45K, I'm risking, I'm willing to risk 3% or 4% or on that trade. Um, because it's it's a nice a very nice support right there So that's the first support I'm looking at if we were to fall below 45 Then we start looking at that 44 range as we saw some buying here um, We'd also be looking at 43 and 42 which was that previous high over here, right? And then of course we have these Fibonacci levels the first level is right around here Which is right about that 41 area which is close enough to the to that previous high so that's why 42 is a pretty good range after that 45 area and then of course it's going to be the big 40k whole number um, if we for some reason continue to drop so the other thing i want to talk about real quick is the stock to flow model and target and we're basically right on the path to follow this stock to flow model right so there's two different models here you can see the one model the stock to flow model the target for Bitcoin would be around $100,000. The stock to flow X models target is right around that 500K range, right? So if we were to follow basically what happened, let's say in from 2016 to, you know, the, the, the top of that bull run, look at where we could possibly go. This is currently where we're at right here. And this is where we could possibly go. This is our target. So if we follow 2016 after halving, we would be breaking a hundred thousand dollars right within um 16 months after the halving would be when we're supposed to reach the one hundred thousand dollar mark so if the last halving took place on may 11th of last year that means 16 months from then would be september of 2021 so September around September of 2021, if we continue to follow that stock to flow model, it's around the time that we would be expected to possibly hit 100 K guys. September is right around the corner. This is of course, if we followed kind of the same uh, time frame of the 2016 and 17 bull run, if we look at the actual stock to flow model, you could see that in September, of this year the stock to flow has us right around let's see 80 dollars right 
So we're right around that $85,000 mark in the stock to flow model. So that's just a few ideas to throw out there. You know, you guys can do what you like with that information, but I like to make sure to give you guys all the information. So now in Ethereum, as you guys can see, we currently just set a brand new fresh all time high, right? 1855 is now the new all time high. We're currently trading at 1844. Ethereum's currently up on the year 100 almost 150 percent guys in the last three months we're up 238 percent in the last month we're up almost 50 percent in the last week it's up 14 percent and the last 12 months if you look at this guys we're up 661 percent so crazy crazy times guys what we're watching here in ethereum remember the price target that i gave you guys last week that's currently what we're still watching for which is that 1920 area and it's only a matter of time guys before we hit this target of 1920 and once we surpass that target guys and obviously we're getting ethereum to 2k so my next target right now the next resistance that we're going to be facing after this 1850 area is going to be of course 1900 then that 1920 should be a nice little area as well and finally 2k is where we should see probably the most price action um in ethereum a break above 2k guys and that could send us possibly to 2500 dollars remember in remember in 2017 when bitcoin first broke 2000 dollars, how fast it started moving possibly the same thing could happen with ethereum if you guys missed out on bitcoin's run in 2017 and if you weren't able to buy when it was that cheap Ethereum might be the second coming and your second opportunity. Don't miss the same run twice. So as far as supports here, obviously uh, 1800 is support that we're going to be watching. And other than that, it's really the 1700 range that we spoke about last time. 1600 for sure as well would be another small minor support here. And then the biggest support would be probably right around here, which is that 1500 range for ethereum all right hey guys i hope you're enjoying this video next we're about to cover some trade setups that we're going to be watching for this weekend to hopefully make all of us some profits if you're enjoying this video so far guys make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet also make sure to drop a like on the video that thumbs up helps us out a lot more than you know if you have any questions about any of these trade setups or any of the information that I'm going over in this video, make sure to drop it in the comments and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys might have. Also, let us know what your thoughts are on Ethereum and Bitcoin hitting these new highs. Where are they going? What do you think? All right, guys. So in Bitcoin, the first trade setup that we're going to be watching, surprise, surprise, is going to be a break above this area right here, right? So that's going to be the breakout entry that we're going to be looking for. And that's right around that 48.5 area. So above 48.5 is going to probably be that breakout um, entry that's going to lead us at least to 49 and to possibly test this uh, previous all time high. Another entry that you can possibly take is probably going to be that 48K. But that's there's going to be a whole lot more consolidation in that 48K range, which is why I'm recommending that 48.5. But if you don't mind that risk tolerance, then you can also take 48K as an entry. If we get some pullbacks, then I'm looking back at this level, this ascending support here. So that might be right around that 47,000 range. And also we could retest this 46K. I'll be taking those entries on the bounces back up. Remember, I don't like to enter them while they're dropping. So for example, this one right here, during this drop, I did not take that 46K entry, but when it reversed and it jumped back up, I took that 47K entry, which took me all the way back up to $48,000. So that's currently what I'm gonna be looking for as well as it consolidates here in this area basically just looking to enter on the bottom of this range and taking profits on the top of this range. If for some reason we pull back further than that, then you guys already know 45K is where I'm looking to enter with a nice around 3% risk on that trade. And of course, if we break 50K guys, I have entries set up above 50K with 53K as my target. Above 50K, I'll probably also be risking 3% on that trade. Looking at Ethereum, you guys already know, this is kind of my target up here. 
I actually like this 1850 range, right? So you could probably set up a breakout trade above this previous high that we literally just set. So in the event that by the time you watch this video, we're above this with a new high, then I would say set your breakout entry above that high, right? Then 1900 is going to be that next breakout entry. And then of course, above that, um, 2000, 2K is gonna be the next one. If we pull back, I'm looking at that 1700 range for an entry. 1750 is also a possible entry there. On, on both of those, I'm only risking 1% on each of those. And if for some reason everything goes south, 1500 is where I'm looking for for an entry in Ethereum this weekend. Guys, that is pretty much it. We touched on everything that we wanted to cover today for the, to prepare you guys for this weekend. Hopefully you guys are able to take these trade setups and make some profits with them over the weekend. Let me know in the comment section if you guys do use any of these trade setups and make some profits. Also, let me know if you've used uh, any of our previous trade setups to make some profits, including the ones from Monday's video. If you guys enjoyed this video and found value in it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to also hit that like button, guys. Put those thumbs up as many times as possible with as many accounts as you have. Turn on those post notification, guys, so that you guys are notified as soon as we post five times a week, Mondays through Friday. Other than that, just have an amazing Friday, guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Make loads of profits. And I will see you guys on Monday. As always, Peace and love.